Mystery Hour, and here is your host, Mystery Jeff Honda! Yeah, that's better. How are you guys doing? You guys, it's such a great night. We have a great show. Do you know who's here? Kelly Harper, the Missouri State women's basketball coach. She is awesome. She's won national championships. National championships, three times. We also have the music of the John Minor Band. Yeah. And I would be remiss if I did not include Feed One, a great international aid organization located right here in Springfield. Check out this commercial we made. You know, people person and cat person are mutually exclusive. True. Hey, uh, I got a new pair of scissors the other day, but I couldn't get them out of the packaging because I didn't have any scissors. True. Just thought you should know. Did you know you can feed one child a month for just $10 with Feed One? Trophiest. Yeah! How about those guys? Oh my gosh, you guys. This is the season finale. Oh. That's what I was hoping for. It's the season finale, and uh, we've had such a great season. And uh, I think we should. Oh, oh, let's see Dave. We gotta see Dave on the season finale. Dave, how you doing? Oh, great. Uh, bittersweet. The season's over. But you know the best part about the season being over? What's that? There's another one coming. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Keep moving forward. Silver linings, baby. Silver linings. What are you gonna do this summer? I know you usually do like really cool things. Yeah, I plan on biking a lot. Yeah? I've got my bike, which is awesome. You've Dave seen has, me ride Dave it. Has a, uh, so Dave has like a, it's like a beach cruiser, and I just was driving one day, and I saw him, and he looks like the happiest guy in the world <laughs> on this bike, and he's just going like this. And uh, I know he has a lot of inner turmoil, but on the outside, he was really happy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just, it, it's like you have to look, because the way you sit, it just is like you're in your lounge chair yeah. in your living room, and it's just great. Yeah. And I feel good, and I'm feeling healthy, and I'm out, and I've got a little bit of a tan. It's great. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> uh, let's move on to things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah! These things I've noticed. Hey, you guys, you might notice I don't have note cards in front of me like I usually do. Here's the deal. It's the season finale. We write a lot of things I've noticed. I have writers that write a lot. I write a lot of them. And the writers oftentimes say, hey, why didn't you pick mine this week? And I have to say, because I can. But <laughs> we have reached the end. And so we want to give the writers a chance to give their favorites that I did not choose over the season. <laughs> So, uh, first up, we have Sarah Jenkins. Hey, here, babe. here are her. <laughs> Go ahead, Sarah. I've noticed that Ice Ice Baby is the Eskimo version of the birds and the bees. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I've also noticed that if you want to make a non confrontational acronym, really feel uncomfortable, just ask it what it stands for. Yeah. They were worth it, they were worth it. Um, all right, next up, I don't know who's gonna pop up. Let's see who we got. Oh, of course, it's Andrew Mihaljevic. Yes, Andrew. Hi, everybody. Go ahead, buddy. I've noticed that stop signs are just pieces of metal that are pretty good at mind control. Wake up, America! <laughs> Maybe a little too edgy. I've noticed that the phrase, I've got shingles, has a completely different context after a tornado. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> All right, and finally, we have Katie Day. Katie. Thank you. I've noticed that 90% of people who text LOL are dirty liars. You are not laughing out loud. You're in a library, sir. <laughs> I've noticed that when I go to the Palace Discount Movie Theater, I somehow still, still end up always paying full price. It's $3 for the ticket and $3 for the ATM fee for forgetting that it's cash only every single time that I go. <laughs> There we go, that's things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. All right. It is time. I have a couple of contestants here. I have Anthony and Ariel, right? Good. What do you do? I don't care. <laughs> what, what about you? Okay. <laughs> we are going to play America's favorite game. Talk so That's right. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> All right, so we have Ariel here, or Ari, Ari and Anthony, and uh, we are playing Toss Your Lunch. What this means is, why don't you guys step over here for a second, is uh, it's time for summer, you guys, and we want to get you guys prepared for barbecues, for picnics, that sort of thing. So we're going to try to set a picnic table. Uh, so we need to bring out our picnic table. <laughs> okay. So Nate is our picnic table. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we have different items here, and you'll each get three chances to throw each item, and you have to try to hit the plates. If you miss and hit Nate, that's great. All right, so first up we have uh, hamburger buns, or hamburgers, these are cheeseburgers, cheeseburgers from McDonald's. Go ahead, Ari, and grab three of them. They're wearing gloves. Uh, not to say anything about McDonald's, just to say about the messiness. Now stand here, <laughs> stand here, and go ahead and try to hit those numbers as hard as you can. Oh, she got a three, very good, Anthony, three. Zero, three to zero. All right, next up, potato salad. Just grab it, and you get three throws. All right. He's wearing goggles, so. Yes! One more. Zero points. Anthony, you're up. Go ahead and just aim for the face. Very good. Somehow our show has turned into Double Dare. <laughs> All right, final round. This one, uh, we're going to put this in Nate's mouth. You guys, one of you gets ketchup. Anthony, you get ketchup. Ari, you get mustard. Stand here, and at the same time, just go ahead and try to get that into the cup. One, two, three, go. You can get closer, you can get closer, closer. Whichever color has more in the cup wins. And by cup, I mean hair. Just put it in the hair. Just go ahead. You're out. OK. Congratulations. You guys both win, and Nate loses. That's how we play Toss Your Lunch. We'll be right back with the John Ma No. How you guys doing? How are you doing? Uh, boy, do we have a great guest tonight. But first, I want to introduce you to our guest sponsor. BYO Pizza! The B stands for bring. The R stands for your. O stands for own. No, don't bring your own. <laughs> it's, one. It's, it's build your own pizza. Just build your own. If you show up with your own pizza, they're going to make you leave.
I don't practice those. <laughs> you know who does practice? Head coaches. We have, we have a great guest tonight. She was a three-time national champion as a player for the University of Tennessee. Also, she is our coach now. Missouri State Lady Bears basketball coach, Kelly Harper. Come on out, Kelly. You got the know, fight right? song. Very nice. Hey, thanks for coming. Yeah. Um, I, I feel like this show is below you, though. There's a lot going on backstage right now. There's yes. a shovel full of potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Uh, so I think it's neat that you are the coach. Like, you, you won national championships. I think it's neat, too. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's great. I love being here. It's um, it's a great place. Yeah. So, where are you from originally? Tennessee. You can't get this accent just anywhere. Right. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's thick, right? Can you try to talk like a normal American? And... <laughs> no. <laughs> it almost sounded British. Yeah, no, it's awful. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that you're not a normal American. You Thanks. are. I'm just saying you talk funny. Okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I, I get it. You talk funny, too. <laughs> it's true. It's true. So, uh, so I want to start with like, kind of your, your basketball playing career. You, uh, you obviously were good. You made it to Tennessee, like the premier program in the nation. When did you know you were good? Like, was it really young? or? Well, I knew it was okay. Uh, yeah. I, knew, I knew going into high school that I was going to get a scholarship somewhere. I didn't know where at that point. Yeah. But... Um, when Pat Summit comes to your school to recruit you, you usually know you're pretty good at that point. So I knew I, knew, I, knew I had done okay. Like the, legend, the legendary coach of all legendary coaches in women's basketball is coming to your high school. Yeah, and um, well, I'll tell you a funny story about Pat. She okay. comes to, she came to my wedding. Yeah. I, uh, and um, I, I, it was right after college and she comes to my wedding, and you can go back and watch the film, the, the film, they filmed it from the back of the church. And, mm -hmm. and you can see, you know, everybody's facing forward, and it's, you know, nice music, and um, all of a sudden, you see everybody's head turn, and I'm watching this back, and I'm like, oh, here I come. It was Pat. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, my wedding, it's cool. That's your day. Yeah. Oh, but Pat awesome. Summit. <laughs> Um, no, so then, uh, so then you're playing at Tennessee, uh, so kind of the best of the best, and you win a national championship your freshman year? Yeah, yeah. And you were like, so this is easy, right? Well, I'm, that's what you do. You just play and you win a national championship. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. So it, uh, that national championship moment, I have not experienced it. Is it as great as it sounds? Yes. <laughs> It's everything it's cracked up to be. Really? Yes, absolutely. So you go off the court. Yeah. It's just happened. Buzzer sounds. You win. What do you do? Um, you hug, and then the really crazy people like me and some of my teammates, hey, let's win two in a row. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you so know. immediately you're like, yeah, this is great. Let's go for it again. Yeah, you're on a high, and you just want to do it again. Yeah, and, and so you did. We did. We want another one. So. That's, that's not how normal life works. No, but I didn't know any better. Right, right. <laughs> you just go and you win. And then you were like, let's just win another one. And so we said, well, let's just win another one. So you won three. So we did. We won three. But, but you were in college another year. Yeah. And you didn't win And that. we didn't. That makes you feel like more normal to me. Thanks. <laughs> Well, it, it, you, it really would be hard for me to walk out of here with four. I mean, it, you know, I would have no concept of reality. My head would be too big for the curtain, actually. <laughs> yeah, right, right. But, but it was, it was kind of humbling, and you're like, okay, so now I understand. Yeah, unfortunately, the, uh, you know, I wish I could say we won four, but it gives me perspective, you know, yeah. because I thought that you just played and won a national championship. Right. And, Remember, kids, you can only win national championships 75% of the time. <laughs> So I was blessed. Yeah. I was blessed. And now you're here, and you want to gear them up to start going that way, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's our goal. 
Yeah. And so th was, this was your first season. Yeah. Well, what did you think of it? It was fun. Yeah. It was, um, it was challenging at times. Yeah. I um, had a child in the middle of the season. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, that and uh, just knew everything. Um, yeah. But it was, it was great. Do you like Springfield? Love Springfield. Yeah? This is awesome. I love living here. Really? Yeah, I do. That sounds very genuine. It is. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And you want to, I mean, I mean, you're walking into a program with not Tennessee history, but with, with great history. Well, you know, I, I, I do liken it to Tennessee because of uh, so many different things, and a lot of it's the fan support and the tradition. Mm -hmm. Both are very important here, and, uh, you know, we're trying to embrace that. Yeah. I want to challenge you to a free throw contest. I knew that, that yeah. something Let's like do that it. would happen. All right, uh, bring, out the, bring out the hoop. Thank you, sir. Awesome. All right, very good. We're going to stand. This is, this is the line, I guess. Okay. So we're going to each get three shots. <laughs> um, I have, every basketball coach I've had on, I've challenged them. And I haven't lost. And I won once. And I um, played basketball through ninth grade. Okay. And I wasn't good. Okay. So I'm just trying to get in your head. It's there. Do you want to go first or second? Let me go second. Let me see what I'm up to. That's against. a real competitor. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, it's hard with a blazer. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> that, was, that was really good. <laughs> Dang it! Oh, it's breaking. I won't even hit the goal. <laughs> oh! Okay. All right, so I all I have to do them. is hit one. All right? you have to do is hit one. Oh, this is you so got bad. This, this is champion. so embarrassing. This is so bad. I have an 18-month-old, so I play I this all like the time. Can, can I talk? I feel like tossing. Sure. Well, would however be much you want. better for me. Pistol Pete. Okay. Okay. Hit the rim. Okay. No booing. Seriously, <laughs> people. Oh! All right. We each get it. Now we're in sudden death. Okay. Okay. Uh, overtime. Overtime. Okay. Overtime. All right. Uh, yeah. If I make it, you got to make it. Oh boy. You have good form. Oh. You have really good form. Now That's, your shot. Uh, my, my shot, my shot. Okay, no problem here. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is not intimidating to the other teams in the Missouri Valley. No. Dang it. Are we ever going to make one? Okay. Um, this is. <laughs> do we get to move up? It's yeah, okay. let's move up. Let's move up there. Oh. Oh. Dang it. Okay, it's from here. Okay. <laughs> from there. John Minor Band, stay where you are. Kelly Harper. Tonight's musical guest brought to you by BYO Pizza. I'm feeling pretty good. I just kind of beat a national champion. Anyway, uh, we have a great musical guest tonight. Please give it up for the John Minor Band.
I don't really love country, but I love that. That, that, sounded, that, sounded, that was a backhanded compliment. <laughs> you guys are great. Hey, that's our show tonight. We've had a great time. So you know, 10% of our box office proceeds tonight will go to Feed One. You guys should come here and see a show live sometime. We'll be back next week. See you guys.